interestingly, all of these springs were hand tied up into the body of the seat, hand tied with knots. Every single one, what's there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven springs that were hand tied. Oh, eight springs. I didn't get that last one. Eight springs tied up. You can see right there, this is what they were, they, they had tied them with knots and then they push them up into the bottom with canvas cloth and tack the cloth on here around the edge. That's what these canvas straps are. These they had canvas straps that actually held the springs up under tension um, in the bottom of the chair. Intriguing way of doing it. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to put that back that way, but I'm gonna try. So anyway, just thought that was intriguing. So they they tied the strings to the top of the, it looks like it's nailed to the very top of the piece. And then to hold the top down and then put canvas across the bottom and then put a layer of cloth on top of that so that the springs and, and the cotton were, the springs weren't biting into your rear end when you sat down on it but then the springs would compress against the canvas straps. That's an inter interesting way of, of designing it, but that makes it, I don't know how old that is. How old is it when you have individual springs put into the bottom here, <laughs> one at a time, with, held in with canvas straps? Don't have any idea, but there's the canvas straps that they're held in. I, I don't know if anybody would be able to tell me how old these are. Some of them are black and some of them are red. And I didn't see any rhyme or reason whether the blacks went one way and red went the other way, but I imagine that's what it is. The red probably is a different type of strap and the black is, is a different strap. So, cause this, the black seems a little thinner, the red seems a little thicker. So, boy, what a, what a um, mess I've gotten myself into. Wow. Anyway, I uh, just thought you guys would like to see it as we go along because, uh, again, what a process. Huh.